and Seoul Cheminuka. We look poised for a big game. So Highlanders, uh, the home time, this is how they're lining up. One change in the team that played in the Chibuka Super Cup. Stepping down, getting on as the second half. Sonsu has gone on in place of Washington. The buyer who goes back to the bench. And as you look at Highlanders, they've just changed one player from the team that we're familiar with. Ray Pichabido. And uh, Ceylon Jikwengwere, Evans Katema plays his first game for Black Rhinos. Up front, he'll be partnering Lord Chiwungwa. Then Alan Gazi was just playing behind the two strikers. Garikai Jematsika, another trust. He's surely poised to get the three points. Makama got it. The referee of the afternoon getting us underway. And it's Black Rhinos who kick things off here. They're putting on red with some trimmings of white. And we'll see how the game will go on. But they are in here to win it. As Sol Chaminuka said when we were doing the touch line interviews earlier, Silon Chikwenjere loses the ball. Stanley Gala onto El Shama Farasi. Got an assist in the Chiboku Super Cup last week. Hero. Of these Highlanders back line. So free kick is gonna be now there's a collision there. This is a pregnant situation. Andrew Mbeba behind the ball. Mbeba is oh that was really close. Perspective. Look at it one more time. And Gonez had to dis make a disparity. So free kick against uh, Rhinos from Beba. Beba straight at Gones and it's in! It always gets slippery. And we were talking about slippery gloves earlier on. And that was just the manifestation. Look at that. Look at that situation. That's what exactly I was talking about. Look at that. The ball comes through from Beba. You have seen it well. Just put a double-fisted save on it. Free kicks, they, they, they gave away in that. Oh, that was really close again. On the four minutes of time, Arona up. And Maka Magari blows to end the first 45 minutes. Well, for me, I think it was a bit one-sided. With Highlanders getting a lot of opportunities, which they could have utilized, especially in the early stages area, and taking a bottle of water that was there and emptied it. Yeah, I think Lennon Gonese is the reason why Islanders are leading at this point in time. He's just concentrated the job at hand. And, you know, eliminate himself from being involved in these little skirmishes off the field. You know, it will distract his concentration abilities. And appropriately so, you did see the goal that he, was, he conceded. It made way into the box. But picked up by Mushorena. With his way past two. And the shot instance was El Shamar Farasi. If you ask me, Howard, when your colleague is in possession, create Darren. And Lina Chukua picks up the loose ball. Laying it for Makino Mushore. Mushore! 
Oh, good hit by Mushore. Melikaya. A shot. And Gones at this time. Done. Picked up by McKinnon Mushore now. Oh, he's slippery. Crossfield ball for Chikua. Make sure that Lino Chikua doesn't hit the target. He's one of the players who is being ready to come on. Pride Mukombe also coming to Lino Chikua. Chikua and Gonesa does well. So the but the final pass there allowing Mudu to just ghost in and clear Chelsea Yakope under pressure there left for dead an opportunity yeah oh penalty who's also a very good penalty taker up against the inexperience of Lennon Gonesse Oh, he saves it! Oh, my word! Oh, he really did well. Gones. Whip. On to Mukombe now. Trying to get into the box. Mukombe on the edge of the box. Lays it back for Darren. And a chance. Kelvin Chiripawako beats him to the ball. Mushore. Take it. He posed his opponent to danger. There is Melikaya straight at the wall. Looks like the piece of action that we're going to see here at Barberfield Stadium. Crossing Flanger. And that's how the full time we saw here at a Barberfield Stadium. So we will be talking to the man of the match. Who is Melikai and Lube? And the two coaches in a bit, but full time here.